Man, there are some awesome signs here. Like this one, or that one, or this one. Okay, we got our work cut out for us. We just had our first meeting with um, with the city manager who's going to meet us out at um, Lake Hilton. Yep. And Sounds uh, like everything's in kind of rough shape. So we're going to have our work cut out for us. But um, like usual, we're going to work our butts off and do everything we can to give this place a leg up. This is um, Ronnie Hayes. He's the guy who's been watching us since last year, been, early yeah, last year. Yeah, out 10 months ago. To He's come been pestering here. us ever since to come here to Hilton, right? It's Hilton? Right. right. So someone said Helton, and we so we, we, were, we were doubting because we've totally screwed up pronunciations of towns before in the past, but it's Hilton. Okay, that's the bathrooms. Right yeah. there. I'm yeah. scared already. Um, this is, yeah. and it's a, it's a, it's a nice pretty one. door, too. The Look doors at that. need to go. You can see the doors are two different sizes. Yeah. Um, they're short. Right this is what I was yeah. looking at. We have to take measures in, but when I come back out, I'm going to need the hot water tank to go somewhere here. We know we have a leak, but who's going to want to take a shower? Yeah, like me. Hands, you can't even hardly turn on. This one, oh, it'll at least, it'll at least come oh. on. Yeah. Okay, so we. Um, I'm a sailor. I can take a shower and go to the bathroom in any case. So uh, yes. the good is that we, I mean, I could use it. So let's just make it a little better and we're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Day one. Day one of Hilton, Oklahoma. We have been 10 months in the planning for this one, so we are so excited to be here. We didn't show you the rest of the rig showing up. We didn't show you the morning meeting. We were You've busy. seen it. You understand how this works. We've got a loaded campground up there, and uh, we had our morning meeting. We're waiting for some more supplies, and in the meantime... We just got to work. So there's a volleyball court back here that was buried in weeds, so they're working on that. The pavilion's getting worked on already, and we're already power washing all the benches and tables. Some of this work, I think two thirds of the work down here is stuff that we found that we could really give them a hand on. That's what we do. We tackle the big projects they want us to do, but we find other stuff and we help them with that. Yep, it always gets, uh, we always do more than we expect. This is the old trail that we are going to reclaim from the woods. It's totally overgrown, a ton of poison ivy. So we're gonna use everything we can um, to try to get rid of all this growth, pull it out, get it over to the side, expose the, uh, the surface of the old trail. And then it goes about 400 feet this way. And then it, it drops off. Uh, it got washed out. They're gonna put in a, uh, 
a tile or a huge um, culvert in there and then fill that in and then we're going to work the trail from the other side but they want to get this trail back so people can walk the whole five miles around the lake but this is the before Day two. Take a look. This is where we're storing a lot of our stuff. And then we have a trailer that's that's locked up every night where we have a bunch of other supplies that we take out to the job sites. Good morning. I can make new ones too. I need to get rid of a bunch of poison ivy. I bet I have all over my arms. Um, Dawn and a scrubber side of a kitchen sponge and just go at all of the surfaces on my arms and stuff. But um, take a look at this. This is the trail we just cut and it looks spectacular. We've got Ronnie who's from Hilton here. He's the guy who brought us here. He is on the tractor and he cut exactly where we needed to go for the trail and then the rest of the crew opened up a huge section of overgrown trail Right, it is day three and we are hopping. We got Dave here who's fixing these benches. We got Mark, Becky, Christy, and Gray all working on the pavilion and they are rock stars. It's awesome. Oh no! Mother Nature's barbed wire right there. That's stuff. Let me see the arm. Let me see it. Oh. I told him yesterday he needs to. I told him yesterday he needs to scrub with a kitchen sponge with an abrasive and some dishwasher soap to get rid of the poison ivy. Did you do it? I used a abrasive cloth just today. So not yesterday. At lunch. <laughs> I, I think it's today. Is it really? Yeah, because all of a sudden it just started burning. Oh man. I, 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 you know, I ate my lunch and all of a sudden my arm's on fire. Oh crap. It is better now. And this is the finished trail. We just need to add mulch, hit it with some uh, um, some herbicide that will work to knock this stuff down, and uh, it's complete. But these guys are incredible. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we look at the same old stars Day four and we are continuing to get some good work done on the bathrooms. Donna is putting a second coat on the shower so that it doesn't peel off when people are showering. All right, then, ooh, the countertop's in. It looks so good. It's just dried in. It's just oh, sitting just sitting, right sitting in there, it's not no, mounted properly, but... I'll wait until the ceiling's done. Gotcha, wow! 
There is no trail here, but Ronnie and I are blazing a new one. We have our marking paint, although this thing kind of froze up on us. So we have a, uh, we're marking the direction that we want a trail to go because this used to be a single trail that went in one direction and we're creating a loop back there. So it's going to meander its way through this area. Um, the, the key is that we don't want it to be too close to the water because if it floods, it's going to wash out the trail. It's probably going to wash out the trail anyway because if it really gets, if it gets really, really wet, it'll even cover this road. So Ronnie's got the tractor and he's got it for action. Yep. We decided to walk it so we can get some exercise. Those tire tracks, that's where the new trail's going. Um, this is an old road we're gonna get rid of. This is the trail. And we are on part two of this trail that goes all the way over to that half of the lake. All right, that's one path. I'll be okay. We watch the sun go down over the same old town. Becky, behind me here is painting this really cool cast iron barbecue with high heat paint. Uh, it was all rusted and ugly before, and it looks so much better now. Oh, this is the work party. Okay. Woo! So yes, this is what, these are what you call Y2V tree hookers. <laughs> <laughs> this is Friday. It's Day five. And it's a mess. <laughs> so we're doing disc golf and the guy who was supposed to mark the course was supposed to be here on Tuesday. It's Friday. He got here late yesterday and they were supposed to concrete the forms today but um we have to build the forms <laughs> we have first. to dig and build the forms so that really did not work out very well if they would have shown up on tuesday we would have three days to dig and prep and been ready for the concrete today but yes we have to delay concrete because we just can't get them all done yeah they were supposed to show up at noon there's no way we don't even have a backhoe yet the heart the earth is like concrete so we have to cut in to make these uh four by six foot concrete forms at every one of the uh, the tee boxes for disc golf so we're gonna take the more pedestrian approach kick the concrete to next week take the time to do it right and so back there we've got what six or eight people Perry, <laughs> gray mike. ken mike um with one pulse hole digger and a breaker bar <laughs> with a with a pitch on it i mean a uh with a wedge on it and they're just trying hammering through that uh that really really dry earth and it's taken them forever but they uh, they've got all day to do nine yeah so, so we'll get cake. the holes dug for sure the uh the the tea box three inch you know boxes uh or three inch deep boxes those will take a little longer but we have a backhoe coming but of course it's not here yet because that would be way too easy so <laughs> but everything else is going great where the bathroom's coming along nicely terry's working on signs uh the pavilion other than finishing up cleaning the roof it is done so we are so super excited everything's rolling right along out here i've been driving this little yard mower to um put this um, herbicide on the trail before we put the mulch on but the thing is so slow and then it runs out every 30 minutes so you got to run it back over about a mile and a half to go fill it with water ronnie he's trying to get um one of the fire the fire trucks the big tanker trucks oh, yeah to come up with 300 gallons so that would help us a lot it's like overkill for that small little tractor that's there 
but I'll take it. Huh. It's early. Day one, week two. It's going to be 99 degrees today. So we're all starting at 7. This is how early it is. This is what it looks like at 7 a.m. in southern Oklahoma. It's a little dark. But we're going to get an early jump. This week we got to complete the trails. we got to mulch the trails. Uh, we're going to paint the bathroom roof. The pavilion is done. We have to do the volleyball court. We have to finish the... We have to finish the... Um, the nine hole frisbee disc golf course. And then we also have, well, we're not gonna put up the, the baskets. We're just gonna do the pad, pads and the concrete will come in sometime this week and we'll get the pads done. And then um, we gotta go to Anthus Park. So we've got a lot of stuff to do, but week two has begun. We've already walked the entire first section of trail that we started this morning to dig up roots and clear some trash. Ken's move, moving some more uh, glass and bits of crap that are here. There's trash everywhere. People throw your trash away. And then uh, the finishing team is halfway done finishing this trail. So Dave did a phenomenal job on this trail with the track. He's coming out now to smooth out this area right here. We want to smooth out the tr transition. And that's Mark and Chris, and they're gonna go get the first load of mulch that we're gonna put on the back side of the trail, on the other side of this little wooded area right here. It's day six at Hilton, Oklahoma, and we are starting on the bathroom floors. Woohoo! we're making progress. Woo, we are. Poor Donna and Susan, though, have to contort <laughs> to get to the cutting edges. Yeah, we almost lost Ken. He was doing so good until I hit record. He almost pitched back. We have three days to go. We have made tremendous progress. Very exciting right here is Dave, who is working on the volleyball court, as you can see. All the old plastic has been removed. The sand's been declumped. Uh, we have laid down or put on um, weed killer so that weeds don't grow up in it. And we're gonna be hanging the net later today. Very exciting. As you can see, this pole fencing is in really sad shape, so we're prepping it. Christy is over here, sanding it, getting it ready, and a couple of us are rallying together to do the primer and the paint, and that'll freshen this up nicely. These guys are prepping the doors for the bathroom. Of course, it had to be complicated. They're different sizes and um, yeah, so, and they're not exactly square and flush. So they have some adjusting to do, but uh, doors on bathrooms is pretty important. So they are getting them prepped to hang. Check this pavilion out. It looks 
a thousand times better. It is just so impressive. This team did a ton of work. We have metal posts that required metal paint. We have wooden rafters that required wooden paint and or wood paint and wow, it just looks like a beautiful, nice, ready to be used pavilion. I see birthday parties and celebrations and gatherings right here. Where are all them volunteers at? Actually, they're right over there across the lake. But this is what we've gotten done so far. So it's easy, fast work. And here it comes with another bucket load. <laughs> They're the painter sisters. <laughs> us has moved over to the pool fencing over at Anthus Park because most of what we need to get done over at the campground is already done. So we um, are taking on another little smaller project, although it's a big undertaking. As you can see here, these poles are really, really, really rusted. Yep, so it needs some work, it needs some love, but we're gonna do it. You can see where water has soaked in before and peel the paint up. So that's getting touched up. All of the outside is going from red to green and the lines are going to be touched up wherever it has been peeling off. Becky over here is doing a great job on power washing. So we'll do the countdown and see how long this takes us. Guys are working on the last section of trail. That means once we're done, we're done. That means when they're done, they're just gonna hang out at the campers and kick back and relax until all those folks at Anthus Park are done. <laughs> Smile at your mama. <laughs> just like that, we're done. We're scooping up trash because the mulch pile is the city mulch pile. So it's got some yard debris in it and some trash and trash bags and some stuff. So look at this, we got some rags that we'll have to get, some plastic. So we're gonna do a good old fashioned Navy FOD walk down tomorrow, bring a bunch of people to walk this trail and pick up all the trash, make it a little bit better. And now what this trail needs is a bunch of hikers to walk it and flatten this mulch down. Check this out, I just got flagged down by Terry. She was, she's cleaning posts. Look at that. down to like the last 45 minutes of work here and then we're checking the box and then we go have our final night celebration feeling in my bones i could feel it in my face hands in the sky i can feel the winds of change you live and you learn and i hope i've seen it 
drab and dreary has now got a fresh coat of paint on it and looking really good. And again, we can't we can't thank you enough. We wouldn't even know where to begin to say thank you. But in southern Oklahoma, we say thank you with food. <laughs> we would like to say thank you by making you an honorary member of White Chew <laughs> And we got one for you, wife, too, because she supports you. <laughs> you have been so kind and so generous, and every time we turn around, you're giving us something. <laughs> and um, you have fed us, which has created a lot of leftovers, which means less meals we had to cook. <laughs> and um, I don't know that we have worked with a more grateful, small community like we have here in Hilton, and I think that's largely in part because of you. So you, too, are an honorary YTV. <laughs> This bathroom was in rough shape. Things turn around. Didn't ever think they could. I'm done with the bad. I need a little bit of. This park is getting an 18 hole frisbee disc golf course and we helped build the tee boxes for the first nine. Man, there are some awesome signs here. Like this one, or that one, or this one. Um, I wanna get high on so, Shar and I are sitting there filming our completion video. Check it out, it's already being used! <laughs> <laughs> First ever people using the trail! Take a look at this trail. This winds a mile and a half all the way over to the lake on the other side. We blazed the trail, we cleared it, we de-weeded it, we opened the visual space by getting a, rid of a bunch of branches, and then we did a mile and a half of mulch. Look at all of it. This is the seasonal pool for the city, and when we got here, this fence was in rough, rough shape. Not anymore! <laughs> Look at my sign! Hand painted by Char. And the tennis court is a lot better than it was when we first got here. We refreshed all the lines, we touched up all the blue, and we started green around the edges. We went through 10 gallons, but they probably needed about 40 more, and it just was out of stock, so we couldn't do it. We had two weeks. 22 volunteers we put in 1275 hours we did the horseshoe court or the pit volleyball court nine holes of disc golf two bathrooms 30 sign posts a one and a half mile trail a basketball court a tennis court a pool fence we dug 50 holes painted 54 poles and repaired painted and hung 64 signs those holes were dug by what we now affectionately call the augernauts the augernauts Four guys, hard earth, leaning onto that auger to dig those holes. It was pretty incredible. And they did an amazing job. So that's a wrap for us here in Hilton, Oklahoma. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends. If you'd like to join us on a project, head on over to our website at www.ayeartovolunteer.com where if you go to the bottom, you can click a button to subscribe to our newsletter. That's where we post all of our upcoming projects. Yep, and remember, don't just RV, our, our volunteer. volunteer.